Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, we continue to see the world being conditioned to believe the lie that is coming following the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. Once millions upon millions of born again believers in Jesus Christ suddenly vanish after the rapture of the church, the world is going to be looking for answers to where everybody went. What happened with this mass vanishing that just occurred? And they're going to come out and say it was something involving aliens or UFOs or something along those lines. And that's why we continue to see our movies, our television shows, our entertainment industry being filled with alien abductions, UFOs, uh, the supernatural. I mean, people are obsessed with this stuff, folks. It's not a coincidence that UFO sighting reports are off the charts. It's not a coincidence that alien abduction reports are off the charts. It's not a coincidence that militaries around the world are coming out at this particular time in releasing uh, declassified footage of UFO encounters because this is all part of conditioning people to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture of the church. And it is not a coincidence that you have stories like this coming out. Thank you to all of you that had sent me this. I had seen Fox News did a story on this and there was many other sources reporting on this. Uh, but this was in a few days ago from the Military Times, an article titled, Pentagon UFO Chief Says Alien Mothership. You heard that correct. This is the Pentagon UFO Chief Says Alien Mothership in Our Solar System Possible. Let me read the first part of this to you. Listen to this. There is a possibility that extraterrestrial motherships and smaller probes may be visiting planets in our solar system. The head of the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Research Office noted in a report draft shared uh, Tuesday. This was a couple Tuesdays ago. So now they're talking about alien motherships being in our solar system. Folks, all I can tell you, in the days, weeks, and months ahead, Lord willing, you're going to continue to see stories like this coming out. You're going to continue to see UFO sightings, alien abduction reports skyrocket. You're going to continue to see our movies, our television shows, our entertainment industry being filled with aliens, UFOs, the supernatural. People are obsessed with this stuff. And I, have, I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt, once the rapture occurs and millions upon millions of born-again believers in Jesus Christ suddenly vanish and... The world leaders, the, the future Antichrist comes forth and they, they blame this on something involving UFOs, alien abduction, or something along those lines. The world's going to buy this lie. The world is going to buy this lie. Because look at what people do. They're obsessed with this stuff. I mean, people are seeing something, folks. But it's not aliens. and not It's not uh, UFOs. It's, it's fallen angels. It's demonic. And it's all part of conditioning people to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture of the church. If you're watching this video right now, there is a day coming when millions upon millions of people will suddenly vanish. They're going to come out and again, they're going to say it's something involving UFOs, aliens, or something along those lines. Do not believe that lie. What really happened is recorded in the Holy Bible nearly 2,000 years ago by the Apostle Paul. Go read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. Go read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 53. Go read Jap uh, John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. What just happened was Jesus Christ just came to rapture, which means to harapazzo, to snatch away, to seize by force, to rescue those that are his, those that are saved. He called them up to meet him in the air, to take them to heaven while the judgment of God is being poured out on humanity during a, com a time coming known as the tribulation period, the worst time in human history. You don't want to be here for what's coming. So you need to settle the issue right now. You need to put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. You need to believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And you need to do it now because tomorrow is not promised. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. And Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. So put your faith and your trust 
in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died for you, for your sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because again, tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.